Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the eighth edition of Wanting to Build Your Own Home. And we've talked a lot about the inside of your home in the last uh, couple episodes. And this one, we're going to take a look at the exterior of your home and some things that you should be working on through this process. Uh, one of the things you can do is have multiple trades working at the same time, both inside and outside. So uh, this eighth uh, one, we're going to take a look at siding, uh, grading, sod, irrigation, and so forth in this one. So as we, we mentioned last time, putting in the windows and, and those type of things, uh, we need to complete the exterior. So obviously roofing should have happened um, uh, towards the beginning stages right after framing to make sure you get that house sealed in. Uh, lots of choices of shingles out there, certainly um, from asphalt to metal, uh, the styles, the colors, uh, lots of, of choices out there. Uh, the important thing is to put a nice uh, shingle on that will protect your home for many years to come. Uh, obviously, something that will hold up to hopefully the weather. Uh, we certainly do know that tornadoes and, and straight line winds can, can damage uh, roofs. One of the big things with roofs is you do want to make sure it's above 45 degrees for at least three days to have a chance to get any type of adhesion. Uh, obviously, the warmer it is, the better. Uh, but sometimes we are putting roofs on in the wintertime. It is the Midwest, and we do have some cold days here, but that's something to consider there as well. You are susceptible to having some of those shingles blow off if you do uh, put a roof on in December, January, so forth. Jumping out of the siding, again, lots of choices of siding, color, types, whether you want uh, cement board or fiber board or uh, vinyl, uh, styles of, of those, you know, Dutch lap, uh, colors, uh, thickness of vinyl, do you want pre-painted hardy board? Uh, understand if you do something like that, that when you go to touch it up, it may not match 100% versus getting one that's just primed and you paint yourself. Again, you have to weigh out the cost and those types of things as well. Uh, how you want your windows trimmed out, uh, whether you're putting some trim boards around it or just budding siding up with J-Channel. Those are all things you have to consider as you side your home. But again, that process should be going on shortly after you're getting those windows installed right after the roof is, is transpiring. Other things you want to do uh, is uh, get some type of rough grade started with your house um, shortly after uh, the, the concrete work has been put in for your driveway and those type of things. If you are, again, waiting till um, the springtime to pour some concrete because you're doing the wintertime, um, again, that can affect the, some of these things that are going on outside. Again, um, timing is, is certainly weather dependent when we're in the Midwest. Uh, for instance, I built a home that, that um, went over the winter time, actually was completed in February. I did not pour the concrete until the spring. I want to make sure as much selling had happened as possible. Some of the builders um, in this area will pour concrete throughout the entire winter time. Uh, not that one's right or wrong. It's just, again, a personal choice. And, and if you can uh, hold off and just drive on crushed concrete or something like that, certainly would recommend waiting until concrete uh, is poured in the, in the, the springtime uh, just for less chemicals and so forth. Uh, as we again go back to getting that concrete poured, uh, after that's done, uh, if you are getting irrigation, again, you want to think about that. Your yard will have to be graded, uh, get the irrigation put in. Plumbers actually have to add in a secondary meter. Um, even if you're not getting irrigation, maybe you want to put a secondary meter in just because you want all your outside spigots hooked up because you're going to do a lot of landscaping. So you don't want to pay uh, the cost of sewer uh, through the city for just having one meter. Again, something to consider. Uh, obviously, as we're transitioning towards the end of the house, we want to get our landscaping in, uh, whether that's mulch, rock, uh, plants, trees, so forth. And obviously, we have to have a final grade for those things to happen, as well as then getting sod or seed put in, again, depending on what it is that is your preference with that. Again, those are all things that you're going to have to consider uh, as you go through this process. One of the things that I would encourage everybody to do, as I mentioned, the first one is, again, you're going to have to lay out your wants and needs. Again, lots of landscaping can be very expensive. Um, can, is, that, is that something you can do on your own? Is that something you're going to have a builder do for you or subcontract that out? You really need to consider those type of items because they can add up. Other things you want to consider, uh, if you've got a, a front porch, uh, are you going to add in some type of railing, posts, uh, any designs that are going to transpire with that as well are certainly things that you want to consider because they will add up uh dramatically in, in prices and, and we all have a budget for which we're building our home for so we have to understand uh, what those things are even though lots of them look really cool at the end uh, we have to be able to afford those or, those or are those things we can add a year later 
uh, when we can afford to do those type of things. So you got to weigh those type of things out. But that exterior part, uh, we haven't touched on it at all. That is an important piece. So make sure, again, as you're going throughout the process, uh, you know, roof is happening shortly after the framing, siding is happening shortly after your windows are installed, and then you're going to progress with the proper grading and so forth. To get a final CO, you do have to have a properly graded yard uh, per the requirements of that area. So it is something to make sure that you do hire someone that knows what they're doing with the grading part because you can be stopped from getting occupancy if you do not have this graded properly. That'll wrap up the eighth one. Just wanted to cover those exterior things real quickly. Have a great day.